1490 WDA and Eric Lawyer in the studio here, and with me is Brian Anderson from the UWC. Hello, Brian. Well, thanks for having me back, Eric. Yes, and uh, well, you, you paid well last time, so you're back. Again. I did. Uh, we're, we're talking about the, the UWC, the United Wrestling Coalition, coming back to Homer. Uh, last time we talked about uh, the Homer show, that was uh, when? About three months ago? The last Homer show was May, yeah, uh, and that was the very first wrestling event to ever take place in Homer. Yeah. I mean, to, that we know of. If you know of a George Hackenschmidt versus Frank Gosh from <laughs> 1905, you go ahead and let me know. I wasn't Then we'll, we'll amend the statement. But until we have proof, that was our, you know, we started it. Yeah, and, and it's at the Homer Opera House, and it turned out to be a really nice venue for it. Uh, everything fit well. That got a lot of new folks showed up who hadn't been to, to UWC matches before. And the kids especially had a really good time. Oh, absolutely. The uh, you pointed it out you did you were nice enough to do the commentary for that event and you made the statement that the ambiance there mm -hmm. is just is just un you know, unmatched. And it, it was really nice. Like it was when all the lights are on, you can tell what it is. But when you have the when the show started, like it became a show. It was mm -hmm. something. It was something different. And so it's proof that we're every single event that we're doing, we're moving up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really. And the and the folks who are, who are putting together the, the it's still kind of a work in progress, the Opera House, but it is becoming more and more uh, the showpiece that it that it was in the past. Still some work to do, but it's certainly. Uh, a great spot for the UWC to go to. And you're coming back with some great matches coming up on a Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, some some really headline matches, uh, including a, a championship match that we'll talk about in just a second. That uh, is certainly a, an Illinois headliner uh, and a Midwest headliner uh, for folks who uh, who know about Indian independent wrestling in the area. Uh, but uh, a lot of folks that uh, folks are, are used to seeing too are going to be in the ring. Yeah, there's a, uh, we do have the championship match headlining the, the event. We also have uh, an online championship match. We have a no disqualification match. Mm -hmm. And uh, who knows? I mean, we have a live band coming. And that's, that's, right. that's going to be another. That's not really new. We've had a couple bands in the past, but this is the first time we've tried we've done the rock and wrestling thing at the opera house yeah so that's going to be well it the opera house itself has got very good acoustics so this is going to be fun in this band you're going to hear all the acoustics it's going to you'll, you'll hear it in the back row believe me coming up uh, and things get started when on saturday it doors open at six mm -hmm. uh, the band live through wednesday will begin around six fifteen, and they will do a 40 minute set until about six fifty five, in which we do our five minute countdown for for the wrestling event starting at 7. But uh, folks come out, the kids are going to enjoy it, the family's going to enjoy it. Uh, you've got some of the, the folks who've been honing their craft for quite a while. Let's talk about this championship match. Okay. That you've got for the UWC Heavyweight Championship. Harker Dirge, who won the title here recently. Um, Record-setting rec championship record reign, like by the way. Fourth, by the way. Fourth yeah. championship reign. Yeah, and he's going up against uh, a fellow who's really gotten some national coverage. And has gotten a lot of uh, of exposure here, and a, a real Midwest type of star. Many of the of the states around here has been able to travel to. He is, I would say, a national talent at this point. Mm -hmm. He uh, got his start down in in the Georgia area, yeah, and then, there. but he really kind of made his mark in the Midwest. You know, with the with between Iowa, Iowa, Illinois, primarily, and that is a uh, the money Matt Cage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Matt Cage. Uh, a fellow who uh, who can go a di lot of different ways in the ring, uh, can fight with you if you want to, but is a very good technical wrestler and and very well trained and certainly uh, continues to hone his craft while he's in there. He has been in the ring with Harker Dirge before, and Harker Dirge has been worldwide, mm -hmm. um, well, very well known uh, throughout here, and it's mainstay of wrestling in East Central Illinois for a long, long time. This is going to be a great matchup. And this, if you're looking for uh, a... a a match between two real pros. This is going to be it. That's going to be that's going to be the headline. That's going to be the main event coming up on on Saturday. But you've got uh, also a, a a no disqualification match between a couple of um, odd birds. Odd birds. That's that's a very appropriate <laughs> a very appropriate term. I so think that's the best way to put it between uh, these two. The two you're speaking of are the powder keg Jimmy Carrot and a new face to the UWC audience, and that is Fabian Barbosa. He has, it's 
it's a very Phantom of the Opera-esque look. He's still very mysterious. I haven't been able to sit down and really talk to him. I don't really understand a lot of what's going on, but the fact is he gets it done mm -hmm. in the ring. Yeah, he does. He, he does seem to move well in the ring. He's got... I, I haven't been able to get a handle on, on his background, but for some reason he's got it in for Jimmy Carrot. Uh, he interfered with, him, with matches that Carrot's been in. Uh unnecessarily he stood I, I will disagree wholeheartedly on that i watched i watched what happened june 4th in georgetown i watched fabian barbosa get his hands on jimmy carrot and i saw fabian cause jimmy carrot to not win well the, that's what i meant the online championship he, did, he didn't need to get in the ring other than for his own measure and because of that he took out an established made star and put himself on the map and now people are talking about Fabian Barbosa, yeah. which before that night, maybe they weren't. Yeah, well, certainly they are now. And that match, anything goes. I mean, no disqualification match means anything goes between two folks who definitely uh, have a different outlook towards things. <laughs> That's putting it very mildly between those two. What else have you got for us lined up? Well, I want to give a... Uh, we have an online championship match mm -hmm. between Bo Sawyer and a man that's making headlines all over the the Indiana region around IWA Mid-South and the, the companies in that general area. His name is Jonathan Wolf. Ah, I've heard about him. I've personally not seen a whole lot of it because... Uh, I don't know if you've perused the YouTube trying to find independent wrestling, yeah, but it's tough, not, tough to do sometimes. Not a lot of quality camera angles and shots no, of, the, that's true. of these guys. I mean, that that comes with time when yeah. they start working for the bigger the bigger companies. Mr. Wolf seems like he has a great future ahead of him, and he's got an opportunity of a lifetime to take on a man like Bo Sawyer, yeah, who is the champion and is defending the title at this match. Bo Sawyer is basically rage wrapped in skin at this point, and uh, is <laughs> is going to be. It's always tough. To, to deal with mm -hmm. for anybody in the ring because he just he's the type of guy who just take out anything you put in front of him and he's been able to get that uh, that online championship and we'll see how this fellow whether he's been in the ring with somebody like Bo Sawyer I I don't know Bo Sawyer is an interesting breed of person <laughs> he's a very interesting person corn fed and, beast that, and that's the the tagline says it all yes. and that's what. That's what caused him to be the very first ever Triple Crown winner in mm -hmm. UWC when he, at the last event, made history as well, become an online champion. And he had previously been tag team champion as well as heavyweight champion in the past. So, yeah. And uh, more matches uh, to be announced coming up over there. Got the band, got lots of sponsors for this one. Yeah, the sponsors came out of the woodwork for this one, and I, we could not be happier. I, it's, I, I think it's the draw of the Opera House. I mean, it's just it has mm -hmm. such history... And, and everything in there that now people are coming out and the one of them being a uh, our major sponsor which is uh, quality med transport quality med transport.com they're out of the champagne area mm -hmm. and then we have buffalo wild wings they're coming out to go ahead and uh, cater for us and get us all nice and full on some chicken wings before we go out there and put our bodies on the line yeah that's why they, why everybody's showing up very very early <laughs> that's what we're that's that's the plan anyway we'll, we'll see how it actually we talked we talked out. to the folks there earlier this week uh with uh from buffalo wild wings they're very uh the fellows really looking forward to this and we're looking forward to seeing them there you guys here 1490 wdan and as well as 88.7 up there at uh, parkland college i mean both my both, old alma mater station right both both stations really helping us out, trying to get the word out, let people know about this event. Yep, it's coming up uh, coming up on Saturday at Homer at the Homer Opera House. Six o'clock is when the is when the doors open. Six fifteen or so. Six fifteen for live through Wednesday. They do a forty minute set. Yep. And uh, what? How much is it going to cost? It's ten dollars at the door. But if you can find one of us, uh, one of the representatives on the street, or if you want to go to homeroperahouse dot com, you can get it for eight dollars. Yep. And we'll be there. And th also, you could be able to get uh, UWC uh, DVDs uh, there. You'll be able to hear me on that every once in a while. Uh, I'm on a few of them. I gather, and, and uh, also all sorts of great merchandise there. Get out there. Speaking early. of merchandise, before I'm sorry to cut you off. No, you're talking about the DVDs, talking about merchandise. We got to talk about another one of our major sponsors, the Juke. Yep. Juke Gaming. They're going to be there, and if you have an advanced ticket, whether you got it in person or whether you got it at Juke Gaming, or if you got it from HomerOperaHouse.com, you will be entered into a series of giveaways 
totaling $100 worth of Juke merchandise. That's video games, action figures, comic books, you you name it. Yeah. And and that's that's from the fine folks of Juke Gaming. Yeah, they're one, another one of the great sponsors. It's great to see the sponsors coming out and support folks who are, are based here locally. And again, uh, UWC looking for places to go. If uh, you've got a, a an opportunity where you'd like to see the UWC come to your town or place or place where you'd like to see UWC go to, uh, let us know. Yeah, just contact us, uwcgeorgetown at gmail.com or on facebook.com slash uwcgeorgetown. All right. I'll be there, folks. We'll see you there, too. We'll see you there as well, Brian.